At the moment, there are many technologies to connect different materials, one of which is soldering. Most often it is carried out by means of heat, but there are some exotic types of soldering, such as ultrasound one, for example. Ultrasonic metal plating and soldering are based actually on the ultrasonic cleaning, including from oxide film, of connected and plated surfaces. Cleaning during soldering is due to cavitating in the molten metal. The degree of cleaning in this case is so high that it leads to the formation of compounds or metals that are not soldered under normal conditions, such as aluminium with other metals, various metals with glass, ceramics and plastics. In the process of cleaning and plating, the acoustic capillary effect is also essential, providing the penetration of the washing liquid or the melt into the tiny cracks and pores. The ultrasonic frequency vibrations caused some way or other in the molten solder lead to the breaking of lapses in the solder layer, periodic appearance and disappearance of large number of small bubbles, a few microns in size. At the moment when the bubble which appeared directly on the metal surface disappears, the molten solder strongly hits the surface and destroys the oxide film. The surface freed from the oxides is immediately wetted by molten solder, thus ensuring high-quality soldering. The source of ultrasonic vibrations in this type of soldering is usually represented by the so-called magnetostrictive vibrators. They use a property of some metals and alloys to change their dimensions under the influence of magnetic fields. Most often used, magnetostrictive materials are nickel, as well as iron nickel and cobalt alloys. The range of ultrasonic frequency used for soldering is 16 to 25 kilohertz. The ultrasonic soldering coppers are produced both with the heating of the working rod and without heating. In the latter case, the solder is melted due to the heat from a separate source, such as a burner flame, for example. Due to the fact that the working rod of the soldering copper is also subject to cavitating damage, it is made of a resistant silver-nickel alloy.